Hey everyone, this is Lori, and I just wanted to give any updates to people that have been following my breast cancer journey. During this, I have been going through it since um, last year, 2018 of August. And it's been about a year and a half now. I'm still in treatment. I'm getting hormone treatments where I go in once um, every three weeks. I still have the port in. So I, what happens is I go in there once a month and it's like I'm getting a newer treatment, a newer drug that has a little bit of chemo in it. It does screw me up and cause hot flashes. And I'm not sleeping as well, so I'm having hot flashes and sweats. I've been still taking a lot of supplements and everything that was given to me from the alternative medicine doctor. Another uh, thing that has happened is with taking this type of drug and, and the supplement that they put me on, they I taking a pill that blocks any cancer from growing. That also has um, some side effects, which can include a little bit of stomach issues and hot flashes as well. So imagine this, okay? You're outside and it's winter time and you're freezing to death. And then all of a sudden somebody sticks your head in the oven. <laughs> so that's what I've been going through and it happens like six times a day or more it's not fun at night because I'll be going in and out of the covers one minute I'm sweating to death one minute I'm freezing it is it's a little crazy I'm supposed to be stopping the um the, the one where I get the port, the um, hormone treatment, and I think February of 2020. And then I'll just be taking pills and be monitored and maybe put on something a little bit stronger. They told me that when this whole thing started, it was going to be like six months out of my life. And then I w would start to have a normal life again. Well, it's about a year and a half now, and I'm still going through stuff. The worst of all is that they did warn me that I was going to have emotional issues as well. So I had bad mood swings where I was real angry at people and then I was okay and ups and downs and then doing that with in combination doing readings for people and helping them is not a good thing. <laughs> um, luckily I've been able to still do my job helping people doing intuitive readings energy work intuitive art but my friendships and other personal areas of my life have suffered because of the mood swings and I got to where I was feeling everybody's stuff so one minute I was angry at this person then the next person I was okay with and then I was angry again and they told me that uh, the medication, along with the hormone treatment, can um, cause that so you don't feel as stable emotionally. So I've decided to kind of cut back on hanging out with a lot of people and friends to just kind of lay low and work on myself more to kind of just be stabilized you know, to things that I know that can help stabilize me because I don't want to subject anyone to, you know, my ups and downs. <laughs> so my family has been supportive and I'm just trying to go day by day, but I'm happy to say I'm still on the earth. If people have been tracking me since I started this last year, I've seen so many things on YouTube where people are doing the same thing that I'm doing right now and they're tracking it and then they just disappear. And then you wonder, 
did they pass away or did they just start getting lazy and they didn't want to keep recording their journey? It's just very interesting to me to see, you know, what it happens for those people on YouTube. But I'm trying to be consistent and document the whole journey through. And just to let you know, with the breast surgery, I am supposed to have um, another surgery to kind of even them out. So, you know, it may be something that I'll have to continue to do as long as I have them, but I'm still happy with them. They look like teenager boobs. <laughs> And that's um, pretty good for somebody that's in their 40s. So I'm happy about that. My body's changing and growing. I've gotten back to exercising again. And I just want to say to anybody out there that's just starting this um, journey to just don't... I, what, I, what I could say to you is don't identify with any diagnosis. Just think of it like it's something you're going through. Don't say you know, um, identifying with having it, cancer, just say this is, yeah, there's a diagnosis there, but it's just something that I'm going through. This too shall pass. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Everybody have a good night. I just wanted to update people because they were wondering what was going on. And I'm happy to say I'm still here, still thriving. And take care.